And welcome to another Disagreeable Nerd episode, a podcast where friends of various ages and backgrounds basically like to just get together and run our mouths, have wandering discussions without any agenda, any point, quite frankly, any insight. We just like getting together. We hope you enjoy. Have a nice day. Or night, or morning, or evening, or whatever. Hey, they made and more money than Avengers. we're on. Welcome to Disagreeable Nerd. I'm your host, Gabby. This is Shardai. Yo, dudes. This is Deej. What's up? And our special featured guest, Deej's wife. Hello. <laughs> so sweet sounding. Of course. But she rolled her eyes before she said it. Okay. We're all here today to discuss... What? Black Panther! Okay. <laughs> um... So it's all the rage right now. Sorry, I got really excited. <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. <laughs> uh, so let's just get general thoughts. Uh, we'll start with Deej. It was good. It's it was good. good. Okay. I, I didn't have any complaints, really. Okay. Char? Best movie of 2018. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't even made to December yet. We're starting off strong. <laughs> How many movies have you seen in 2018? This is the first one. Okay. Well, then you can say that with full honesty. Charday, loved it. <laughs> you loved it. Yes. Okay. Uh, I too thought it was very good. Okay, so that's general consensus. <laughs> yeah. DJ was like, "Good." I'm yeah, like, "It's good. Very good." I loved it, and the best movie, and only movie scene. Well, it's uh, smashing all kinds of records. So far, it's made four hundred sixty-two million dollars worldwide. Wow. Last time I checked, sorry. <laughs> last time I checked, <laughs> last time I checked, it was like two hundred million. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like made two hundred and thirty something million mm-hmm. over the four day weekend. Is that domestic? Yeah. Wow. I think it was just like right behind. I think it beat Avengers. Force Awakens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the second in as far as Marvel movies go. In it though. Yeah. Age of Ultron made it. Beat it. Yeah, Age of Ultron. Uh-huh. Like the worst one somehow. Yeah, uh, I mean, I could go look all that stuff up, but uh, sure. so the director Ryan Coogler, Coogler, I've never heard of him before, me either. Mm. But apparently, uh, he made Creed, also with Michael B. Jordan. I also never seen it. Apparently, he made Fruitvale Station, atrocious movie, also with like. Michael B. Jordan. Creed, Creed. I don't like it. I didn't like it either. Oh, I heard it was good. Have you seen it? No. I said I heard it was good. It was. Uh, I mean, did you like Rocky? Do you no. like Rocky? Have you ever seen a Rocky? And he's yes. funny. I like Rocky. Really? It's just Rocky. It's Rocky. Oh, that's it's boring. Rocky. But with Michael B. Jordan bringing that back around to get out of the movie, getting back around to the actor from Get Out, also in Black Panther. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. He has a theme going. I feel like I went on Jimmy Fallon's <laughs> show. I've seen that. Like most, he's most. Oh, he he's expressionless to me. Except for his Michael. No, the guy from Get Out. Oh, he, yeah. he always has the same look he on his face. The, he, the, I swear. The, I'm heavily drugged it's look. His eyes. Yeah. I swear to you. He's like this. The whole movie in Black Panther, he had the same look. Yeah, that's all I can look of. And I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't tell if he was disappointed or. <laughs> He's not very expressive. Happy. He's unreadable. <laughs> uh, so, what did you think of the special effects? Subpar. Really? Yeah. I thought like the CGI was just really not up to speed for some reason. In what particular scene? Anything involving the Panthers. Everything kind of seemed to be a few years old. Yeah. I don't know why, but mm. that was kind of disappointing. I, guess. I don't know. I kind of thought it looked okay. The it didn't look terrible. I mean, it's still a beautiful made that movie. Better, though? Huh? Like, how could you have made that better, though? Just smoother, more lifelike. You know, not quite so... Oh, that's obviously CGI. Yeah. But I think part of it was like it was a brighter movie. So... We live in the like, darker scenes. Even if it's dark... Yeah. yeah, it was all right. It was good. To I mean, me, I, it really just consider. looked marvelly. Yeah, like all their other superhero movies. To me, it looked like the CGI they used in Spider Man Three. Yeah, wow. Mm-hmm. wow, a little bit better than that. That's mm. what I'm saying. DJ calling out Black Panther for a CGI. Mm. Yeah, I guess when you had a big cast like that, though, you kind of lose some some money. So, uh, what do you think of the titular Black Panther character, Chadwick Boseman? <laughs> <laughs> DJ not impressed. Yeah, uh, the whole movie I feel like was kind of supported by the cast, the rest of the cast. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, in general, like the heroes of the movies aren't the most exciting characters. Tony Stark? Well, I said in general. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Get a clap back fast for it's that. It's all yeah. the people around him, surrounding. Yeah, he kind of just. Okay, okay, okay. Ant Man's pretty good. Okay, <laughs> so then just the, his the, just the what's his name? Thor. T'Challa. What's his name? T'Challa. Yeah. So his character is just not very dynamic. Yeah, kind of reserved. Who was your favorite character? Uh, but but saying that, Kill I guess. Longer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who? The Kill bad guy. Uh, Jordan. He was your favorite character. Yes. He was mine too. He's entertaining. Really? He, yeah. Michael B. Jordan just has a presence to me. Like, yeah. I, I feel just, like he kind of overdid it. I think, I felt like he overdid it. That's how a I little felt. Bit with a little his, bit. like, no, character, but he was good. overdid it was Claw. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh, oh my yeah. God. He reminded me of, like, <laughs> the old like some serious Joker or something from yeah. Batman, Robin. That was some serious, uh, Batman, Robin. I don't like that kind of villain. Overacting for the villain. I don't quite remember him. In Age of Ultron, how he acted. I don't I think it was that. Because I haven't seen that movie in a long time. He had such a small part, I don't think it was that big a deal. Yeah. He's just so, I don't know, too much. But, you know, all the critics were love in the movie. Mm-hmm. Love and love and love in the movie. I mean, you can't really fault it. The whole movie was good. It's a good movie. It's a solid movie. I like Lupita. Good story, good characters. Lupita. Everything was good. I love Lupita. I do, too. We know. Really do. Queen of Catway. Mama. I think Is I kind of have a woman right? crush on her. I have not. It's a good chess movie. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's another girl that plays chess. Literally. <laughs> from, uh, what was the country? It was from... Mozambique? Uganda. It's an old movie, isn't it? <laughs> Ain't like an old Disney movie? Know. It came out in like 2015. Yeah, it's pretty old. 2016. Couple of, it's a couple years out. I may have pretty old, that. what? It's not that old. I mean, Lupita just came out. Lupita. <laughs> Lupita. <laughs> That's how you say her name. <laughs> well, she Lupita. is... Uh, she's Spanish. Kenyan, what do I say? Kenyan, half Mexican, she's Kenyan-Mexican. Have what? You Kenyan can't tell. Mexican. Yeah. She looks all African she's to me. She's born in Mexico yeah. City. She dark. Oh, wow. She that, about, she that dark chocolate. What mm. about... Okay, now DJ, I understand you. <laughs> For people to hear you, though, they're not going to understand when you start saying dark chocolate. I'm not going to get your. My wife is black. <laughs> <laughs> I, am I was also... trying to have a very anonymous voice. They wouldn't know what I was. Well, they know, they know <laughs> now. They now they, they know, know now. you. Now they know. They know something about you. So, uh, so you have. Hey, they know that I'm the black hippie. It's okay. <laughs> They do. I just get very uncomfortable. I don't want any hate mail. <laughs> Why would they get? Oh, if they get from, hate mail, they don't need to be listening. From the three, kind of having listeners get hate mail. <laughs> you had to cut out twenty minutes of this podcast because he's yeah. writing on about <laughs> the DJs. He's writing on about the DJs always making comments. I got to cut out. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, so what about the the plot in general of? Uh, was it, what was it about Killmonger, Killmonger. being the long Eric. lost Wakandan and then claims the throne? I think it was a pretty good plot. I mean, it made sense. There, it wasn't, I mean, go ahead. No, I wasn't going to say anything. I was just, just moving my head around. Like, it wasn't just like a, it wasn't boring. It was like one of those, aha. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how it felt. I, I, the, I just don't like all these movies. And I guess it's just a trope they have to follow. You have the guy, he's doing good, he's in power, whatever it is, loses everything, fights his way back, gets it all back. I just kind of get tired of that over Same and over plot. And over So and you over want the plot to be where he over doesn't over. get it back. Or Iron Man, has the Iron Man suit, loses it, gets it back, wins. But you like that. You like when that, the good people win, good guys Well, yeah, win. I do. I just kind of wish there would be a new, a new storyline. Thor! Uh, Thor is mighty powerful, loses his powers, has to find his way back. It's just in every movie. So what That's been like every Thor would movie. be your idea of a new story? Oh, I don't have any ideas. Oh. I just like complaining. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I will say I there like. was absolutely no aha moment for me in that movie. It was kind of all just... To me, it's kind I of... I knew exactly I mean, where it was going to happen. By the numbers, yeah. yeah. No, I, I'm not even going to lie. I was confused in the first part. I wasn't sure who was who. What do you mean? Who like who? when? Like who was the bad guy? No, like what, what first part are you talking about? The apartment scene. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. Okay, like in the beginning, I didn't know who was who. You didn't know the characters in the beginning. No, and it wasn't until the I didn't know the who they explained it. Yeah, I thought Black Panther 
was that was Black Panther right there when he was. You didn't realize that was that in was, the past. I thought that was nineteen ninety two. I know. I thought it was when he was young or something, and he got old. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did. I was like he, and then he died. But then I that. thought he was still good looking. He aged much better, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I didn't. It, it didn't take. He me got long. younger. Yeah, it didn't take me long. <laughs> I realized been like that. seventy years old. I, I realized that. Like I was thinking of the year. I was like, okay, yeah, that's not right. Mm. Okay. That's me being kind of <laughs> slow. Chardé, a little slow to pick it up. I was a little lost though in the beginning. But so, I caught up. what did you think of the princess? I liked her. Little sister. Suri. I liked her. It's S-H-U-R-I, but I feel like they kept saying Suri. What did you think, Char? Not Shuri. Char has a... <laughs> I don't think Char liked her. You got a little snarl on your face. I don't know. I was trying to think of how to describe her. You know, in real life, she's British. She really? Mm -hmm. She was cool. Char said she reminded her of her cousin. Like, she was the she was the only personality in the movie on the Wakandan side. The pizza? Like, she had personality. I don't know. The 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 general? general? Oh, yeah. I forgot about the general. They all have personality. She had a lot of personality. I think they were all just serious. I guess she was like the. She was bubbly. She's the teenage girl. The princess. And yeah. they'd say is the smartest person in the Marvel Universe or something? Yeah, apparently she was. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she made all that, she made all that stuff. Wow. Yeah, I don't know much about Marvel. Yeah. Well, no, I'm talking about these, like the movies, the cinematic universe. They say she's the smartest. Huh. So, I don't know. Interesting. Be cool to see her and uh, Tony and Bruce get together. Add another one of those uh, science, well, I guess not bro. Science song. Well, they call them science bros, but I guess she's a girl, so it'd be like... Wait, who's... Uh, what about the Ant-Man guy? Isn't he supposed to be smart? Oh, Hank Pym? And, uh... Oh, yeah, I guess nobody's that smart. So I guess out of those three, she's supposed to be the smartest out of Tony and Bruce. Okay, so compared to the other Marvel movies, compared to Thor Ragnarok... Mm. You know, we never did have our 2017 discussion, but it's kind of too late now. Oh, yeah. But Thor Ragnarok was my favorite movie of last year. Of last year? Mm -hmm. Of last year. It was good. I literally can't, like, oh my god. You don't have There were so many movies. My favorite last movie year. of last year was Star Wars. Last Jedi. Oh. But Thor Ragnarok was second. There you go. So that's something. You know what? I have a list somewhere. <laughs> well. And I think I know what it was. I think it was. It was either Planet of the Apes. Ooh. That's or, a good one. That yeah, it was Planet of the Apes. That was my third. Yeah. I think that was my uh, second. Uh, Mine was Thor, Planet of the Apes, uh, and I kind of done forgot. Uh, Spider-Man was my fifth, so actually... I, oh, Spider-Man. I'm going to say that Black Panther was not as good as Thor, but better than Spider-Man. Hmm. Okay, that's not where... Not as good as Thor, better than Spider-Man. I would probably have to agree, because I rewatched Spider-Man. It's not as funny the second time at home. Like, in the theater, when everybody's laughing and everybody's <laughs> into it, it's kind of different. But, like, I tried watching it here at the house. And, I mean, it's still good, but it was, like, oh, it's not as funny as I thought it was. <laughs> the first time, yeah. I thought it'd be funnier. I'll think about it. I wonder if Thor's going to be the same way yeah. for you. I don't know. Thor was really funny. Thor was really <laughs> but I'll have to rewatch that, too. <laughs> Thor, that's... I, it was a... Okay. This is my deal. It says, we may never have this discussion again. I'm going to go ahead and say it. 18 minutes. <laughs> I'm watching. Don't you worry about it. I, I love humor in movies because it makes them lively. However, in Star Wars Last Jedi, like it's been forever since the movies just like really made me like feel something, get me choked up even, unless they have music behind it to really make you feel. It's like a false. I think Last Jedi, this is we're getting off Black Panther, but put in humor where they could have made like real feelings. Humor is funny in the moment, haha, -ha, but it doesn't like have a lasting effect on you. Don't sacrifice, yeah, feeling for drama, a dramatic drama. feel mm -hmm. for humor. Last Jedi, the the scene that makes me think of that most of it all, most of all, is when she hands in the lightsaber. I mean, we've been waiting for that moment for two years, and he tosses over his shoulder for a joke, haha, -ha, move on. I mean, that could have been a more impactful moment or go down memory lane or he, I don't know. They could have done something more impactful than a joke. It kind of like time. hurts your heart a little bit. Yeah. Got some flashbacks or something. Cause really that was the first time he's seen that lightsaber mm -hmm. since 
Empire Strikes Back. Like, he didn't know it was still around. So, I mean, really, yeah, there could have been some kind of feeling there. And I think a lot of movies put humor in because you do feel it's funny. Ha ha. But it's like when it's over, like Spider-Man. I really thought I enjoyed it. Then I went back to what watched it all by myself and it wasn't hmm, home Spider-Man homecoming. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we know. We know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're not, I was just thinking about it. The listeners may not know. <laughs> That's true. Thank you, Char. You're welcome. <laughs> Stay homecoming. Char, always looking we at the We ain't talking about the amazing Spider-Man people. Um, okay. <laughs> Anything else, guys? Yes. Okay. Any last thoughts about the movie? So, which female now did I'm you like remember. best? Which what? Female. Which female. The general, the princess, or the girlfriend? Wow, that's a hard one. Um, I thought the the general. Ooh, I really like Lupita as an actress. It's why I'm having a hard time right now. I'm talking about just in this movie, though. I know. Um, the general. Interesting choice. I'm gonna go same. Interesting. Well, I guess not interesting. Okay, whatever. Char. Char. I'm torn between the general and the girlfriend. She added, she made the black Nakia. Panther. Is that how you say her name? Nakia. Nakia. She Nakia. added something to his character, otherwise he wouldn't have had it if she wasn't in the movie. To his boring character? Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say he was totally boring. Yeah, he was boring. I mean, he was pretty attractive serious. to his character. <laughs> <laughs> Chadwick Boseman. He's That's a pretty weird. man. I know. You like Chadwick Boseman? Just Chadwick Boseman or Michael B. Jordan? Michael B. Jordan. Okay. okay. I didn't like how he looked for some reason in the movie. I don't know why. I kind of liked it. The but then when I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the bad boy. Of course she did. But like outside of their acting. You know, like Michael I'm sure it didn't hurt. They put on like 40 pounds of muscle for the movie. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Must be nice. He's like six feet wide. <laughs> it's like, ridiculous. He was big. Yeah. I thought the other guy was big. The T'Challa character. <laughs> like a little tiny guy. And then they walked up to him. And that's what like, oh, no. when it come to the, and there wasn't really a whole lot of Black Panther in it. I mean, you know, yeah, like there wasn't. in his most of the most of the big fights come outside of the suit and out of, out of his strength. I want to know why they kept taking the mask off every time. Yeah, like every few seconds they'd be like maskless, and you then mean, they go the back last to the mask. fight scene or the whole movie. Oh, why do you keep taking your mask off? Maybe it's stuff. So like he got blown back too. by like claw in that casino thing, and then he like took his mask off. Oh yeah, like, oh. yeah. I kind of wonder about that too. What are you doing? That seems understand. unsafe. To me, I'm like, <laughs> are you trying to protect your identity? Yeah, it just keeps taking it back off, taking it back off. And off. then the scene, <laughs> the scene in all the previews was like the main action scene of the movie, car chase, yeah. where he was like jumping over the car and all yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then them fighting. Um, spoiler it ended alert! Being the first part. Yeah. Do what? I said it was weird that that was just. It's made the preview made it seem like that it was the whole part of the movie. Yeah. When really it was just the like a big part. main part. Yeah. yeah. And it was completely left from that. Yeah. And then the the end scene in the subway. I forgot basically. I like that one character from that tribe. What was that tribe? When they go Baku in the mountains. Or something. That part was funny. Yeah. I mean, he, he was a good character. That guy was I massive liked too. Him. I liked him. That guy he was like liked eight feet tall. Character development, definitely. Yeah. What I want to know is why do they not address the fact that the get out actor guy, like his whole tribe, mm-hmm. like turned against him. Yeah. What happened? He wasn't in that last scene, you'll notice. But I mean, did they like imprison them or ah, nothing? They're just like, oh, we're, so, we're all good. We're good, bro. Like, how many people died in that little fight? <laughs> nobody. <laughs> did you notice? Like, nobody really died. Like, they just all got punched real hard. I don't about know. I never saw rhinos because those were awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, those are pretty awesome. <laughs> Charlie, they got war rhinos. This is the best movie ever. That's what I was like when he was calling that. When he went, <laughs> <laughs> what was like, he gonna do? I didn't know what was coming. It came out of the ground. I was like, like more people. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. I didn't expect that. That was un- that was surprising. <laughs> the war rhinos. Yeah, yeah. I did. You said nothing surprised you. Well, I mean, like, did you expect war rhinos? Well, he blew the horn. I'm like, what's he doing? And then, like, the rhino came. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, TJ, <laughs> oh, you're so hard to impress. What? I mean, it's a you got to do something cool. You know what I mean? It's just kind of oh, it's rhinos. So you know. think Avengers will impress you? Yeah, they've got the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe cast <laughs> in this movie. I am ready for it. I mean, it's got to be. There's too many good. people for him not to be impressed. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, that's part of my deal. It's like. <sighs> Uh, who are they going to focus on? It's going to be Everybody. too much. There's a thousand people. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, they're not each have their individual scenes. They're going to be sharing screen time. I don't know. It's going to be sad. Like, I they did a good job. I mean, with, they all have their own movies. So. There's going to be people I'm going to know we're going to like wish was in it more, and they're not going to be in it good enough. Yeah. Well, they I mean, they did good, they did a pretty good job huh? with Civil War. Or they gonna, Civil War, they had a lot of characters. They managed to kind of. They each got their own screen time. This one is a lot more, but I think with them all being in scenes together, they probably won't be so bad. I think Tony Stark's going to die. Got me thinks that because he thinks uh, Robert Downey Jr. is sick of acting as uh, Tony. Well, he's sick of it. They just want to get out because they don't want to be known for that <laughs> like forever. Yeah. Mar- probably- That's just like- Marvel's tired of painting $50, 60000000 million a movie. Yeah. Oh. Captain America just wants out because he wants to stop acting. He's He wants to stop acting? Mm-hmm. He wants to direct. I don't think he's been happy since he's been in it. Yeah. I'm so unhappy making millions and millions and millions. <laughs> I mean, and I think they're both going to die. Let's be Cap's honest. going to die. Bucky's going to be Captain America. And then Robert Downey Jr. is going to die. And Spider Man is going to kind of take over as the leader. As the leader? Sp- Spider Man will not be not the leader. Yet. But, you know, a lot of characters are going to be dying by the end of these Infinity War movies. <laughs> He'll be the last one left. <laughs> It's going to be like all these new characters are taking over. He's going to kind of be like the go-to person. But. <laughs> so we got Ant-Man 2 coming out. That Avengers. trailer looks really good. I think it's going to be good. Hey, man. I hope it is. Mm-hmm. I like, I the, like first the first one. one. The first I did one too. Good. It's a really underrated Marvel movie. Because never talked about Ant-Man. I didn't even know Ant-Man existed <laughs> until Ant-Man came out. I'm not talking about the movie. I'm like really the talking about the movie. Ant-Man. Oh, the movie. Like You don't hear about it a lot. But it was really good. Yeah. It was good, it was, but I wouldn't put it on like a favorite list or anything. It's yeah, but I mean, there wasn't anything like bad about it. Well, it was, it was all, just a much smaller scale yeah. type deal. I don't know, but there wasn't anything like I didn't what's like about the char- it. What's the guy's name? Which one? The, the actor, main guy? The actor. Oh, Paul, Paul Rudd. Rudd. Paul Rudd. No, don't ask me his character name. No, no, Scott? I was asking that. I think it's Scott. Scott I was just wondering. If Scott. It's Scott. Uh, I don't know why I get him mixed Pan up with Ryan Scott. Reynolds. Scott Lang. Right? Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. That's right. I know. No. Yes. But I get him mixed up with him. Ben Zoom with a Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's about it. So next uh, movie comes out is... Tomb Raider. Uh... I'm, Jurassic I'm, I'm World. I want to be in line to see Tomb Raider. We know you are. I bet you do. <laughs> I'll just be in line with you just because okay. it's a movie. Which Dwayne Johnson movie do you look forward to the most? Skyscraper or Rampage? Rampage. Rampage. <laughs> Rampage. Even though either I one. I don't crap about Skyscraper. Uh, I, he's, every movie is the same. Literally. He's the big, strong guy, but yet lovable. <laughs> there to save the world. <laughs> I'm kind of getting Dwayne Johnson out. I'm very Dwayne Johnson out since his second outing in Fast and Furious. What about Jumanji? Mm. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Jumanji was good. Oh. We haven't yeah, seen it. it was good. Jumanji 2 was good. He was good. But not because of him. I mean, he was fine. It was Jack Black and... Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Yeah. And they were all good. That was a good movie. You like Jillian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's uh, yes. highly attractive. <laughs> I was gonna say she's highly attractive. attractive. I'll say that. Say. Highly attractive. I'm a woman, by the way. <laughs> Did you need to clarify that? By the way, Shardy is a woman. If you haven't noticed <laughs> by now. All right. Well, we were just gonna hop on real quick, have a brief discussion. A scale of one to ten. Where do you put it? Uh, Char. Black Panther. I'll give it a nine. What? Wow. Really? Wow. What's your favorite movie of all time? Or one of your favorites? I know you're going to ask that. Beer Money. Oh my it is Beer Money. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Where they sell you an alien need, for Beer Money. I've literally what? never I've heard never of that heard ever. Of Me either. You need to watch this movie. <laughs> is it like a comedy? Okay, so we're going to take your rating like system is. with a grain of salt. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're going to take mine as a grain of salt. Beer Money is a 10. <laughs> Black Panther's a 9. You're going to take mine as a grain of salt because I thought it was an 8. Okay, Charday. An 8? Mm-hmm. I think that's about par for the course. I think that's where I mean, I really like the movie. Yeah, I did too. Mm-hmm. Deej. Mm. I'll give it a 7.5. <laughs> that's, that's about where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. That's where I'm at. I mean, it's it was, good, but it right. just could have been so much better. Yeah, I like, I agree. Like, there could have been some things that, you know, better, but, you know. Yeah. I, I, I just, I'm like you. All the Marvel movies are kind of doing the same thing. I'm ready for something new and spectacular. Same what do you, what are your what is your rating? Seven point five. Which you know technically, 
is a 1 to 20 scale, I guess, if you're going to do 0.5s. If we're getting technical with it. <laughs> we'll just say 7.5. Okay. So, we all liked it. Very good movie. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for letting us record, Char. Of course. Anytime. Anytime? Anytime. Okay. <laughs> How about now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's she go regrets, on, guys. She regrets Let's saying that. All right. Well, we'll talk to you next time. What? Are you stroking? We'll talk to you next time. You're turning into Porky Pig. All right. Good night, everybody. Later. Adios. Bye.